all is relative, and today we are going to talk about relative pronouns. Relative pronouns are used in dependent clauses called relative clauses, they link together the main clause and the relative clause by replacing a word or a phrase from the main clause. An example will make things clearer. Take the sentence L'homme qui habite à côté de chez moi est américain. The man who lives next door is American. Imagine that you have two sentences. L'homme est américain and l'homme habite à côté de chez moi. With the relative pronoun qui, I have connected them and turned them into one sentence and I have avoided repeating l'homme. There are many different relative pronouns in French. The choice of a relative pronoun depends on its grammatical function in the relative clause. Today we are going to focus on two of them, qui and que. Qui is always used as the subject of the relative clause. This means that it controls its verb. In contrast with English, French does not make a difference between subjects that are people and subjects that are things. It is always qui. For instance, j'ai un frère qui s'appelle Bruno. I have a brother who is called Bruno. Qui is the subject of the verb s'appelle. Another example. J'ai une voiture qui est rouge. I have a car that is red. Qui is the subject of the verb est. Que is always used as a direct object. It is directly affected by the action of the verb without a preposition. In English, you can use that for things, who or whom, for people, or nothing at all. In French, you always use que for both people and things, and you cannot drop it. For example, le chanteur que j'adore est espagnol. The singer whom I love, or the singer I love, is Spanish. Que is the direct object of adore. Another example, la photo que je regarde est belle, The picture that I am looking at, or picture I am looking at, is beautiful. Que is the direct object of regard. Bon travail, au revoir. Created using Powtoon.